Hello everyone, like to welcome you back for another DIY challenge video. Today's video is keeping it keep it simple Sunday. This video is hosted by the lovely and talented Melissa from Melissa Makes It DIY. I have left the link to her channel in the description box below as well as her co-host which is Marjorie from Jetter Blessings. But like I said, both of their channel links are in the description boxes below as well as the playlist link. And we're going to get into this DIY number one. What I have here is three wooden butterfly cutouts that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. And I will be going in with Waverly in the color of plaster. And I'm just going to be going around and I'm just going to be painting the sides on these butterflies. We're going to be doing something different with the rest of them. And I, re like I said, repeat the process on the other two as well. And now I'm going to go in with a piece of scrapbook paper that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. I have three different patterns here that I'll be using on these three butterflies. Just going to lay it down, flip the paper over, lay it down, and trace around it. And then I'll be going in and just cutting out the butterfly. As I said, I repeat the process on the other two as well. And then I'm going to be going in with the jumbo glue stick. And I'll be adding a generous amount to the wooden butterfly as well as the scrapbook paper. Now I like using these glue sticks. I um, almost did a Mod Podge on some things. Some projects is just a little bit easier. And I like using the purple because you can see, you know, where you've missed. <laughs> Make sure that you have it all filled in. Lay it on. I'm just going to lay it down on top of there. And then I'll be going around with my um, sandpaper. I forgot what it was called for a second with my sandpaper and just sanding off the edges. Okay, now what I have here is two large paint stir sticks that I purchased at Walmart. And you can also get these at any like uh, Lowell's or Menards or anywhere like that. And I'm going in with Waverly Antique Wax. And I will be covering the entire sticks. Um, if you didn't have any Waverly Antique Wax, you can always use acrylic paint and add just a little water to it. That makes a really nice stain as well. And I'm going to go in and make sure I get every bit of it covered. Okay, here's the sticks are finished. Now I'm, I'm just kind of eyeballing it here. And I'm just going to go in. And I'm going to add some hot glue to both of the sticks. And then I'll be placing the butterfly down on top of it. And you can see at the beginning, I placed the butterfly up just a little bit too high. So I had to go back in before the glue set and I had to lower it.
and then I'm going about halfway up and I'm going to be adding another butterfly into the center and then the, another butterfly at the top. And I'm actually going to give this to my oldest granddaughter for her room. And what's good about this is you can, you know, use any kind of scrapbook paper. You know, fix it any way that you would like. Then for the holder for this, I'm going to go in with some nautical rope that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. And I will be using hot glue to attach it. Hot glue or super glue or E6000 or anything like that will work. And I'll be bringing it on around and kind of measuring out exactly how much I'm going to need. I'll be cutting off the excess here. And I just let it set for a few minutes so that the hot glue will have time to set up. And here's the finished project. I tried my best, you know, to keep the colors coordinated as best as I could. I think it turned out really, really cute. I think my grand, it's going to be a hit with my granddaughter. And I'll probably end up making a couple more of them for my other grand granddaughters as well. And we're going to move into DIY number two. This is just a little picture wall hanging that I've had in my stash for probably a year. And I decided, okay, I can use it for this project. And I'm going in, and it takes three coats of the Waverly in the color plaster. I go in and cover the front or the top as well as the sides and the bottom. Okay, now what I have here is some more scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going in and I'm going to be adding the glue to the front of the picture. And this stuff holds so good. <clears throat> And I'll just be laying the paper down on it. And then I'll once again take my sandpaper and go around the edges here. Just clean it up a little bit. And then what I have here, this is actually a part of a wind chime. And I just took it apart. And I think it was, I love this flower. And I'm going in with some hot glue and I'm just going around it, putting on a generous amount. And then I realized that it's not gonna hold that well because it's kind of raised. So you'll see here in just a second, I end up removing it and I'll be adding a little bit of hot glue to each one of the petals. And then I also go in and add a little green shoestring bow at the bottom. Kind of just gives it that little added touch that it needs. And I think it turned out just adorable. Here's the finished project. I ask you all if you like my projects that you hit the like, subscribe, as well as the post notification bell. And I thank you all for stopping by and I hope you all have a blessed and wonderful day.